knows what happens if you lose something at PGCon. <laughs> it, get, it gets auctioned off to the highest bidder at the closing session. So about this session, we'll go through a few points, then we'll have the auction, then we'll have some beer. Any objections to this order? Okay. Who is here from Heroku? Please stand up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's one or two people here from Enterprise TV, I believe. Could they stand up, please? Did they leave early? Oh, there they are. Thank you. And if you don't know, there's at least one person here from Salesforce. <laughs> Who here is from Salesforce? Anyone know? There. There's a bunch of people here from PG Experts, and I'm going to point out one of them. This is Stacy, Josh, S A R O S S. I know they're here. I've seen them several times. Thank you. I've never heard the following name actually pronounced. Citus. Okay, good. Who works for Citus Data, please? Is it data or data? Data. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have a feeling someone here works for Google. No? At best you can, we get at least three or four Google employees. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jan's here. He always sits in that seat, too. I don't know why. Jan and, Jan and Chris Brown. Please stand up. <laughs> Steve? He's not standing up. Oh, there he's standing up. Thank you. Sorry. All right. The, I know someone that used to work for Omni TI, but I don't know if he still does. Who here is from Omni TI? Yay. I, I didn't want to mention names, but I thought you'd change jobs, Robert. Sorry. It might be someone else. I heard Salesforce is fine. Magnus is here from Red Pill. Thank you. Wheeler? There he is. I, for my ovation. Thank you. I can do all kinds of things, you can do all kinds of things, but we all need money to do it, and that's where the sponsors come in. Thank you very much. There's no title to this slide, but it's supposed to be the list of the, the program committee. You may notice that there's some names missing from the previous list. That's only because they've sort of retired over the, over the years. But these are the current members. We are looking for one or two more. Basically, you do work in about a two-month time frame, January and February of each year, reviewing papers and making suggestions. So if you get a few hours a week, a night, over that period, let us know. We're always looking for more people who want to contribute directly to the content of this conference. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, go. On. I heard, heard applause. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stacy's done a lot of work. Anyone not know who Stacy is? Put up your hand and I'll point Stacy out to you. This is Stacy. <laughs> Anyone know what this one is going to be? You can't shout it out if you've seen it on my slide. But anyway. That's how many people signed up this year. For the audio, that's 256 attendees this year. You're not all here at the moment, I can tell. <laughs> we, have an, we have a core announcement. And for this, we're going to hand over the mics one at a time to Magnus. All right. That one up, that one down. Oh, OK. I actually get two microphones. Wow. That's pretty good. 
So uh, it's been a great conference, and we tend to use these conferences to uh, do. My slide's gone. Yeah, but there's another slide here for you. Yeah, but that one's for later. That I know, but this one's for now. Okay. This is all complicated. <laughs> but at least it's not a very complicated slide. You'll know that once you see it. Uh, so we usually take the chance <laughs> to to uh, grow our community a little bit during uh, this conference, uh, or rather during a meeting we have next to this conference. Uh, so we'd like to announce that we've added a number of new committers to the Postgres code base. Um, and you don't know how to get to the next slide? No. There we go. So these are our new committers. Jeff Davis, Stephen Frost, Fuji Masao, and Noah Mish. I think that's excellent, because that's slightly less work for our, the rest of our committers. <laughs> so welcome to the team, guys. OK. Now, let's see if I can get back to what this was. And, oh, I, <laughs> guess what, Magnus? I didn't have to do that, because I, I had them all here. <laughs> That's what I saw. Okay. Right. I got some questions now for you. The Hacker Lounge. How many of you knew we had a Hacker Lounge? How many of you went? Okay, we're not going to have that next year. <laughs> the reason why is it costs us about $1,500, and if you're not using it, we're not going to have it. So it's no big deal. It's just if you want one, we can have one. If you don't want one, we won't have it. Because obviously you're, you're just doing the social things somewhere else rather than the hacker lounge. Yeah, the beer. Yeah. <laughs> you can bring beer in there. It's your, it's your place of residence, and so, so long as you're quiet and discreet about it and not throwing glass against the wall, you'll be okay. <laughs> Ground floor residence. Yep. Your residence is all Yep. Um, you go to the website, you click on the link that says Maps, <laughs> you find the, the map, the Google map, and it'll have the main residence highlighted on the map. All, all the activity locations are in the Google map, and that map is updated year to year. Sorry. All right. Insert PG open here. Who, now, do we have some, No, I know. Come on. You've got these. Okay. You hold those. Do you want me to hold this? Sure. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is John Urban, and I'm on the coordinating committee for Postgres Open this year. Uh, it's a conference that we're having. This will be the third year running uh, in Chicago. It's going to be September 17th and 18th, and also a day of tutorials on the 16th. And um, our call for papers is going to open uh, on Monday, and will be open for the whole month of June. So uh, we're looking for all the same kind of types of talks that we have here and the, and the types of things we've had there uh, in years past. So please, I encourage all of you to uh, submit a proposal because without speakers we have no conference. Um, early bird registration is already open for anybody who would like to attend. You can save $200 off the conference fee by, by registering now uh, and that closes on June 30th. After that it's 550. So um, we'll be announcing our schedule shortly after we close the, uh, uh, close the proposals, excuse me, and um, I believe that's it. Thank you. How many of you knew what this was? The Schemaverse. How many of you played? You're lying. I'll show you why you're lying in just a second. Oh, hold on. You may find out soon. Not quite there. Almost. <coughs> Almost. Almost there. I'd have to say, that's the second best elephant logo I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, which one? Which one? Put that one up higher. And put this one down lower. And I'll just stand next to it. And you tell me when you want the next slide. Okay. 
Can you hear me now? Hello? Great. So um, since I was going to kind of feel bad about something like a broken record and saying what the Schemaverse is, but I didn't see a lot of people who knew, so I'll say it anyways. Um, Schemaverse is a game that's been developed completely inside Postgres. So to play the game, you actually play by issuing SQL commands either directly as a user on the database or through your favorite programming language connecting to it. Um, so I had the pleasure of bringing the tournament back for a second year to PGCon. And I'm just going to go over kind of what happened, a little bit of stats, head into the next slide. So first of all, uh, thank you to these people who are my sponsors, PG Experts, InfoBunker, uh, Navicat supplied a prize this year, and of course, uh, PGCon themselves for bringing me here and having this. Um, they're all awesome. Next slide. Uh, so in the system this year, we had 5,554 ships created. It's a space-based game. So generally what happens is if you've got a planet, you want to go out and conquer other people's planets. So 5,000 ships, not too bad. Next slide. These are the number of events that took place in the database. 2,600,000. That's actually extremely close to what there was last year. I think last year had about 2 million events. So not a huge amount of growth there, but a little bit. Next slide. Last year, we had about 30 people play. And I thought that was pretty good. And I, of course, I used the term play loosely. But <laughs> there was certainly 30 registered accounts. This year, oh, oh, oh. 900, oh. there we go, 994 players. <laughs> I, I seem to remember the amount of people here at the conference being a little lower than that. Um, so th there might be a, a tad discrepancy there in uh, the legality of play throughout. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. Whoever said creating multiple players was against the rules? Not a single person. <laughs> uh, you can stand there. Sure. <laughs> so here's the map this year. You can still kind of see the two main players that took place. Last year, this map was covered with one symbol. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> this year, we actually had two. Chris's symbol is the kind of like small blue one that you see. There was actually someone with quite a bit more planets than him, Mr. Fu. Now, there was also some other players who, who actually made a showing this year as well, which is nice. So we're getting there. People are starting to play the game, get interested in it. So at the end of it, here was the amount of planets held. Now, planets aren't the only thing in the game, but they're a pretty good indicator of who's doing well. These are the only people who conquered a planet successfully, so three out of 994. <laughs> that one is at least within the 256 attendees. So what was I giving away for this? Well, first place, this was actually done as a qualifying round. The championship is going to be held in Vegas at the beginning of August. The winner to this gets a pass to Vegas for that. That's about a $200 value. Plus, they get the wonderful championship hoodie. This year, I also added the Best Hack Mug Prize with the, again, second best elephant base logo out there. <laughs> and then finally, Navicat was nice enough to, again, give us another prize to give away, a free license of Navicat for Postgres, which is a wonderful Postgres client. Commercial, which I know some people were slightly anti, but a good product. So the early bird winner, to the Navicat, we've already discussed it, it would be Greg. Congratulations to him for winning. He won yesterday during the initial training session. So, good for him. It turns out not all of those user accounts were legitimate. <laughs> but the hack wasn't just about using illegitimate user accounts. It was about scripting them to do something and then automating that to his main account. So there was as much as it's a silly hack, actually a fair bit of effort went into it. So Mr. Fu, if he'd like to stand up or come claim his mug, he can. <laughs> so
So who could have possibly won this year? Well, surprisingly, and it could be anyone, again, it's not just based on planets, but we'll see. Chris won again. <laughs> Now, with that being said, through some prior discussions, I do know that Chris is not able to go to DEF CON this year, yeah. if I understand correctly. I believe so. So, he is willing to forego the prize to someone else on this list who is able to go. If multiple people want to go, we can play some rock, paper, scissors outside, but I'm not going to waste everyone's time with that. If, if we have How about this? It's on the auction. I agree. That person has to play the schemaverse when they go to Vegas. I think that's fair. But if you happen to be on this list, maybe you want to go. So that was it. That's the schemaverse this year. Hopefully, we'll be back again next year. Uh, if you're still interested, schemaverse.com. There's rounds every single day. There will be other open qualifying rounds throughout, and again, the championship in Vegas in August. Hopefully, see you there. Thank you. This one's lower. And we got that one. And we got this one. And we might not have. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And there we go. I can't see. The lights are so bright. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Aha, now I know what we're doing. Okay, so we're done that one, and we're done that one, and now we want. I think this is Magnus. I think it is. The That's the this one down. Oh. Okay. So I was led to believe that we were actually going to be watching some, you know, performing arts here from John Erdman earlier, uh, which is why this slide isn't as actually something completely different. But before we get to the completely different, just imagine, you know, John up here dancing, and then try not to be too scared, and then we go to something completely different, uh, which is we want to announce, or ra rather, want to invite you to our European conference as well. Um, and as you can see, you need to go in the other direction to get there. It's not that far away. Uh, that was the wrong other direction. <laughs> uh, so uh, it will be held for obvious reasons in Europe, as it is Postgres Conference Europe. Uh, and if you go to the next one, so you'll see we'll, this year we will be in Dublin, Ireland. And we will be there in October to November. So we'll, we'll be slightly later than the Postgres Open people. And, and we do have to match. I mean, we know that you guys, Postgres Open does have John Erdman. Some of you know what that means. Well, you know, <laughs> in Europe, uh, we have Devrim Gundis. So uh, uh, our CFP is currently open. Registration with Early World will open in early July. Uh, we'd like to see you there as speakers. Uh, we'd like to see you there as attendees. And, you know, uh, we need people to help us control Devrim. So uh, see you all in Dublin. Thanks. You guys wanted to say something? You just don't have seats? Or? Oh, just, just, just standing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just wanted to make sure I didn't forget someone. Oh, yeah. So. <laughs> you all better block your eyes now. Wait for it. Wait for it. So the problem with the auction is that I have to do this. The reason I have to do this is because you all got to see what you're bidding on. Now, I very much hope that the owner of this jacket is here. Does anyone recognize this jacket? It was in 256. Because if the owner's here, we'll sell it off. 
But if they're not here, that's not very fun. <laughs> right, so we'll come back to that. I have here the last brownie. <laughs> how much, Chris? You raise your arm. How, how much would you bid for this last brownie? I stopped at 50 cents. 50 cents. 50 cents. Do I hear a dollar? Do I hear two dollars? Five dollars. Do I hear five? 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 Okay, do I hear ten? Anyone? Ten dollars for this brownie? It's going to the Ottawa Mission. Local charity. No, it's not going to me. A lot of you may have walked past the Ottawa Mission on your way to the Enterprise TV party. Okay, six dollars. Anyone bid six dollars for this brownie? Six dollars. Seven. Do I hear seven anywhere? Seven. Six going once. Ten. Ten. What? Someone said, who's ten now? Are you bidding against yourself? Six dollars. Six dollars going once. Six dollars going twice. Sold. Thank you. Norman Yamada. All right. I have here the second last brownie for sale. <laughs> Do I hear two dollars? Two dollars from anyone? Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Do I hear a dollar? Six dollars. Six dollars. <laughs> Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight. Anywhere. Seven going once. Seven. Eight. Eight, eight going once. Nine? Nine? Don't let them have the brownie. There are too many are bad for you. Nine dollars. Nine dollars going once. Ten. 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 Do I hear eleven? Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going twice. Sold. Thank you. I have here the third last brownie, and this is the last. This is supposed to be the second last brownie, but it's the third last brownie. Four dollars. Five. Do I hear six? Six dollars. Do I hear seven? Six dollars going once. Wait, who got that? Seven. No, it's you. It's you. Six dollars going once. Six dollars going twice. Eight. Eight dollars over here. Ten. Ten. Ten over here. Cash, you can do PayPal. Eleven. Oh. Eleven. <laughs> we'll take US or Canadian. <coughs> Eleven. Eleven going once. Eleven going twice. Sold. You got all the brownies, dude. <laughs> This is a bottle opener, specifically a beer bottle opener. Ideally, you would attach it to your wall and open the bottles this way. I have three of these for sale. No, it says Muskoka Brewery. All natural, premium, and pure. I'm sure it's referring to the beer. It may have been used once or twice. They've never been used. Match set, one for each room in the house. Okay, so where were we at? Ten dollars? So what the, pr the price of the first one will dictate the price of the other two. So, ten dollars. Do I hear eleven? Ten dollars going once. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty dollars up front here to David Fetter. Oh. That, <laughs> that changes your mind. <laughs> Twenty-five going once. Do I hear thirty, sir? Thirty. Twenty-five going once. Twenty-five going twice. Sold. What's your name, please? David. 
What was your last bid? 20. 20. 20 going once, 20 going twice, 25. Do I hear 30? There's only two of these left now, I promise. 25 going once, 25 going twice, sold. What's your name, please? I didn't hear that. Dimitri. Dimitri. Okay. David. 20? 30. 30. 30, anyone? 30 going once? You could have had it for 20. I don't think anyone else wanted it. But 30 going once, 30 going twice, sold. 30 bucks. Two. David Fetter. Okay. Okay, should we sell off the turtle? Or we should wait. We should wait. On I know, but we'll go big and then we'll go small again. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're, you're, so you're the master turtle yeah. or elephant? Which you want first? Wait, wait, wait. Yep. Go. Oh. You can tell the story. What? Tell the story. So these these are hand crochets out of all natural Oregon wool in Portland by uh, the postcode contributor Mark Wong. Yes. Okay. So, hands up. Who wants to bid on the turtle first? Okay, we'll bid on the... <laughs> Who wants to bid on the turtle first or we'll bid on the elephant? Turtle first. There, we'll do it. Um, the turtle is a Japanese uh, mascot for the Postgres project. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, good. Of. Was it? That I didn't know. Well, turtle. <laughs> Sorry? Who said? 20. $20 from Matthew. Do you hear 25? Oh. 25 to Jeff. 30? 40? Who was over here? They chickened out. 40 going to Andrew. 45 to John. 50. 50 down here. 55 to Andrew. 55 going once. 50, 60 going to Jeff. 65. 65, 70. Andrew. 70 going once, 70 going twice, 80 to Jeff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 75 to Jeff. 75. 80 to John. Um, 85 down here. We're going to speed this up. Once it goes to 90, we're going to go in tens. 90. 90. <laughs> <laughs> the bid is $90. 90 going once, 90 going twice. Ninety f uh, hundred, sorry. Hundred dollars to Jeff. Do you really want a new committer to have this one? A brand new committer. <laughs> one hundred. One hundred going once. One hundred going twice. Sold to Jeff Davis. Okay. Now we're gonna swap to something very different. You can, you, you, yep. Okay. Who wasn't here in 2007? Lots of you. Who wasn't here in 2008? Almost as many. Awesome. Who would like to pretend they were here in 2007? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've seen people around, right? It's the kind of geek conference thing. You, you wear the t-shirts, you know, the oldest t-shirts you can find right, for, for the conference you're at. Or if you're a smart artist like me, you wear it for the rival conference. But I just like causing trouble. So, um... Ah, okay, so the size, the size of interest is, is next to what I was coming to. Um, in 2007, 2008, I was 80 pounds heavier than I am now. <laughs> Apparently I should use the microphone. I'm not loud enough. All right. So I, I, I was 80 pounds heavier than I am now. And um, the, the, the laundry fairy 
<laughs> who does the laundry in our house, tells me, these t-shirts no longer fit, and I'm not allowed to wear them anymore. And so rather than give these away, I thought I would auction them off to someone who would like to wear them. Um, these are both size extra large. This is extra large in 2007, 2008 t-shirt sizes, and I know the, uh, it, it, <laughs> they, the manufacturers do change the sizes over time. It's quite subtle. And it comes with a 2008 bag, so you've got real plausibility. <laughs> Should we watch them both together yeah. or one at a time? We'll, we'll do them. Yeah, they're the same year. We'll do them both at the same time. Okay. So. It is a package. Yeah. It is a nice package. Two in the bag. Yeah. So, 10 bucks. Who wants it for 10 bucks? $10 here. Are they freshly laundered? Yes. <laughs> Fairy one last time. I prevailed on the laundry fairy to wash them one last time, and she agreed on the count if, if I promised she would never see them again. <laughs> I'm not risking my marriage for 20 bucks. <laughs> Wise man. $30. Well, it just means you don't. Oh, wait, no, that's not okay. $30 up here. 30 going once, 30 going twice. Sold to the gentleman in the box. <laughs> Who wasn't here in 2010? And it comes with two t-shirts. They are XXL and XL. And neither has been worn, ever. They've never been laundered. 2010, they've been sitting in storage. Clean storage. So, 10 bucks. XL and 2XL. Okay, never mind. 20 bucks. 20 going once. Anyone else? Oops, sorry. 20 going once. 20 going twice. Sold. Thank you. Keith. Keith Prescott. Keith Prescott. Okay. Here we have a bunch of magazines. Four copies of the same magazine. They're all unread. <laughs> because they've been sitting in storage, waiting to be sold. Wait, I think we had, wait do, we have, do we have any, any of the authors of the articles for this issue, for that issue? The None of the articles. Who, who are the authors? That's what I'm looking up now. We have a picture of PGCon 2012, a huge picture. No, that's a different conference. I don't see the list of conference sound. Okay, you go through and compile a list. Stefan, right. are you here? Where is he? What? Right, so, so to speak of more of a thing, we get Stefan to sign his interview. So, so this will become a one of a kind. <laughs> For the right price, I can make it just one of a kind. <laughs> so, five bucks, copy of the magazine, anyone? Five dollars, five dollars here. Five dollars going once, five dollars going twice. Ten. Ten. Ten down here. Do I hear fifteen? Ten going once. Ten going twice, sold. Anyone else want a copy or is he going to get all four? Anyone else want to pay ten dollars for one of these? Okay, up, oh, ten. Anyone else? Anyone else? Ten bucks for one of these mags? Each one gets two. Okay. Okay. Now, what do you reckon next? These? 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 Yeah, they, those are fine. Over here. Sorry, which ones were you referring to? Okay. 
Okay, so let me explain this. So we had we had our first ever uh, Python PostgreSQL day uh, this year at, at PyCon. And it was actually unexpectedly popular, it got sold out. So this is in fact the very last unworn shirt left um, from that. Uh, the, uh, and actually because of sizing, like some of our staff did not get shirts. So, so this is an extra large, because that was the only one we had left. Um, so I don't have another size, but if I get the only one, we're not planning on using this design again, so we won't get any more of these printed, so this is your one chance. Start the bidding. So, anybody, anybody want to bid five bucks on this? Somebody here must use five bucks. Five, five dollars here. Start from Andrew. Ten dollars there. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. 25 going once, 25, 30. $30 is the current bid, 30 going once, 30 going twice, sold. Who is it? That's Peter G. Peter, thank you, Peter. I'm sorry for all the noise, let me fix that. It's not that one, Oof. it's yeah. this one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, do you want the story for this one? So, we had these shirts printed for the volunteers for our OzCon booth in, when did 9 come out? 2011, 2010? 2010 for 9.0. And I was going through all of my poster swag and I found one of these that was left and completely unworn. So there's, this is the Postgres elephant as Ganache holding a 9 for, for Postgres 9. So again, this is the last one of these shirts that hasn't been through the laundry 15 times for somebody. And again, see, I think this is also an extra large. Yeah, this is also an extra large. It's also an extra large. So, somebody want to start the bidding? We've got 20 there. 20 dollars. Who's Where? 30? 30 to Jim. Yep. 30 going, 30. Anyone? Anyone? 30 going once. What? 40 at the back. 40 going once. Do I hear 45? 40 go, where, where? Hands up. 45. 50. Hands up. Oh, yeah, you're short. Sorry. <laughs> that was Jim Naseby, if anyone. Yeah. He's not short. Yeah. 50 going once to Jim. 50 going twice. This is going to Texas. 55. Hands up. Oh, there you go. 55. 55. Do I hear 60 anywhere? 55 going once. 55 going twice. 60. 60 to Jim. 60 going once. Do I hear 65, sir? 65 going twice. Sold. Yep. Thank you. Jim Nisby. <laughs> Here we have something rather unique. It's some Russian nesting dolls. From what I understand, the theory behind Russian nesting dolls is used quite heavily within Postgres. These particular Russian nesting dolls have been signed on the bottom by Theodore. Where's Theodore? Hands up, please, Theodore. And Oleg. And by Tom Lane. <laughs> How many dolls are there? Five. Five. I'm not going to open them all up. Neither. I'm sure he'll add whichever one you wish. Well, the good news is now you can keep those in the next store. <laughs> this is unique. Do you hear 20 bucks? 20. 20 to Norman. 30. 40. 40. 50. 50. Do I hear 50? 60? Sixty dollars, anyone? Fifty, go sixty. Do I hear seventy? Sixty going once. Sorry, seventy, wasn't it? Sorry, was it seventy? Seventy? What was it? Seventy going once. Seventy going twice. Eighty. Eighty. Okay. Signed by three. 
Oh, yeah? 80 going once, 80 going twice, sold. Thank you very much. I don't, do you know his name? Do you know his name? The name? Do you know how to open these? Yeah. Yeah, let me just Carol Merrill it for you. So, new poster design. Yep. There we go. Um, yep. So, designed by Chris Lawrence, who's done a lot of the other posters here. Um, my company sponsored getting them printed and designed. Um, and right now, this is the only one of these that you can get. And I haven't discussed this with anybody else, this design with anybody else in advocacy yet. So if other people don't like this, this will be the only one of them you can get. <laughs> so, we'll start the bidding at $20. 20, oh, you gotta hold this. Yep. $20 here, I heard, I saw someone else's hand. 30. 30 to Jeff. 40. 40. 40 going once. 50 over here. 50 going once. Do I hear 60? I'm not very good at math, sorry. 60 going once. 60 going twice. Sold. Thank you. We'll do this one and then do the other poster. Okay. We have the other cro hand crocheted virgin wool, all natural organic products from Larry Wong. This one is the elephant. So, what did I say? I'm oh, I'm Larry sorry. Wong. <laughs> Mark Wong. I'm sorry. Mark. So, $10 anyone? $20. Twenty dollars going here. 30. 30. And 40? 50. 50 down here. 60. 70, 80, 90, 90 going once, 100. You have a match set, won't you? Did you get the other one? <laughs> who got the other one? Oh, and nobody's owning up to who has the other one. Yep. What's the current bid? 100. $100? Under going once. Here, I can do this. Okay, you do that. These are really amazing pieces. 120. 120 down here. See, this person got to see it up close. He's bidding 120. Do I hear 130? 130 from anyone? 130 down here. Do I hear 140? 140. 140 going once, 140 going twice. I have 150 down at the front. Chris has been $150 for this unique, one of a kind, all natural, organic, hand crocheted elephant. 150 going once, 160 to Jeff Davis. Who got the turtle, by the way? Jeff. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I thought so. 160. 160 down front. No, you, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry 170. 170 down front. <laughs> 170. Talk to the people beside you. See if they'll go in. They'll give you a little. 180. 180 going once, 180 going twice, sold to Jeff Davis. Okay. Oh, actually, there's a couple. There's a, what are you going to do with the little stuff? I don't know. Just give it away. Okay. So, these will be last.
Oh, um, who got the dolls? This is the bag it came in. Who got the nesting dolls? Okay. <laughs> who, who won the nesting dolls, please? Uh, Dan Farina. Do you mind if we sell the bags separately? <laughs> okay, five dollars for the empty bag. Five dollars. Five dollars. Ten. Ten to Norma. Ten going once. No, but that can be arranged. So, so far it's ten dollars for an empty bag not signed yet by anyone. Ten dollars going once. Ten dollars going twice. Sold to Norman. Thank you. Okay, so another version of that design. This one is signed by 18 major contributors to Postgres uh, from the developer meeting. Uh, this year we only, we only did one signed poster. Um, I did not get a second one signed, so this is your one chance at it um, for, for to remember 9.3. If you're one of the people who, who uh, bought one of the previous posters at auction, you could start making a set. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to start the bidding at fifty dollars. One hundred at the back. You want to walk that around? Yep. One hundred dollars to Chris Hoover. One hundred dollars. Physically, this is the biggest item being sold today. <laughs> so. $100 to Chris Hoover. It comes in its own cardboard roll. <laughs> we'll give you that for free. $5 extra. Sorry, what was? $110. One, $110 one one ten at the front. One twenty-five. $150. $150. $150. $150 is the current bid to David Maxwell. Do I hear $160? Thank you. The bid is 150 to David. 150 going once. 150 going twice. 160. 160 going once. 160 going twice. One last chance. Sold. Thank you. These are not the last two items to be bid, but they are the last two items, sorry, to be auctioned, but they are the last two items on the table. There are two items to go after this, but I'm not going to tell you what they are yet. Plus, plus the DEF CON pass. The DEF CON? Plus DEF CON pass. Oh, are we're we, going to auction? Anyone want to pass to DEF CON? You might have to do that offline. I don't know if there's demand for it. Jim, uh, no, who was it? Dave, can you tell me the history behind these? Uh, yeah, there was the first one yesterday. Psst. Psst. These were supposed to be one yesterday at the uh, social event. Um, <laughs> to you, you had the last one. <laughs> 215 and 301. Hey, we can auction the drink tickets. I got a drink ticket here. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to sell these off together, or is one I two two separate <laughs> items? Two separate items. And what we'll do is the bidding will go up, and then the bidding will go down from whatever the first one is sold at until someone else claims it. So, twenty dollars here. Thirty. Thirty. Hundred dollars. 
Come on, that spoiled all my fun. Hundred dollars going once. Does it come with twenty four seven support? Yes. <laughs> it's well supported by the table. One hundred going once. One hundred going twice. Sold. Okay, we're going to do this in reverse. Anyone want this for $100? 95. First person put their hand up when I say a number gets it. 95, 90, 85, 80. Sold. You want me to yeah, this? yeah. Uh, as a lot of you know, I'm Salesforce rather than the Red Hat, which means it's no longer really seemly for me to be running around with this. <laughs> so I've had this for, I believe, about 10 years. It was given to me as a Christmas present by the Toronto office in 03 or 04. So it's got a lot of miles on it. It's a little frayed. Everything still works. Um, but anyway, what am I bid for a laptop bag? It, it will be empty when you get it, yeah. okay? <laughs> it will be empty. Wait, wait a minute, does my laptop fit in this? Uh, I've got it looks a like it. Looks yeah. like it. What I've been carrying in it is a 15-inch uh, MacBook Pro, so it will definitely hold a 15. I wouldn't bet on a 17. Will you sign it? Will you sign it? Uh, for the right price. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, you would need... Yeah, has anybody got a pen that would write on fabric? Uh, so otherwise, on black fabric. Yeah, that would be that. Uh, I don't know where that is. So <laughs> the question was, will you auction off your fedora as well? So, um, so what was the f latest bid? So twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Thirty. Thirty. Forty. Forty. Fifty. Fifty. This is as one of a kind as it gets. <laughs> Sixty? Sixty dollars? Seventy? Oh, come on. Eighty? One hundred dollars down here? This is Tom Lane's backpack. He's <laughs> carried this around for how many years? Ten years? About ten. It's been to, you know, just about every conference you could think of. It has Tom Lane's DNA on it, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, did that drop the price or raise the price? 110. 110. 110. 110 going once. Don't let Josh get it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 120. 120. 120 going once. 120 going twice. 130. 130. Ooh. Ooh. 130. The current bid is 130. Do I hear 140? 140. 130 going once. One, oh, good. 140. I better stand over here. I can't see you. 140. Current bid is 140, 140 going once, 140 going twice, 150, 150 going once, 150 going twice, 160, 160 going once, 160 going twice, so thank you. This is the last item up for bid. It is the first ever Tom Lane Salesforce badge. <laughs> he, he will sign it, plus one, I'm sure, for you if you say, if you ask. 20. 20. 30. 50. Sorry. 60. 60 going. 60 going once. 
the gun with a three plus one? <laughs> That'd be a lot more than 60 bucks. <laughs> this is without signature so far. It's not reached the threshold for signature. So what, what was it? It was sixty dollars, was it? Yep. Sixty going once. Seventy. 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 Do I hear seventy-five? Easily expensed people. <laughs> seventy-five. Seventy-five going once. Seventy-five going twice. Do you want this signed? Yeah. Is that a decent price, including signature, Tom? Seventy-five. Yeah, whatever it goes for. 75 going once, 75 going twice, sold. Thank you. Do you know that guy's name? Do you know that guy's name? But. All right. I think that's everything we have for sale unless someone wants a keychain, has kids and wants to stick on tattoos, or the last two pens. Oh, wait. Does anyone want to bid on a DEF CON admission? Seriously, 10 bucks into DEF CON free. $160 value. The only caveat is you have to play this game reverse when you go. Yeah. 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 Y
resigning from the conference. Yes, I'll still be running it next year. I'm just wanting to distribute the load a little more and increase the knowledge about how the conference runs. Uh, the tourist day is actually the uh, Sunday. There is nothing planned. Figure it out at the unconference. There's lots of things to do. Keep in mind there will be a marathon going on. You're welcome to participate. I know someone who's running. Two, three, half marathon. Um, any questions? Was there enough fruit? <laughs> more poutine. We need more poutine. If you don't know what that is, look it up. You, you missed out. You got to have it before you leave the country. Okay. Thank you very much.